Alright guys, so we actually have a huge video for Black Ops 3 Zombies Garage Krovi, the new DLC 3 Zombies map, and we have the first ever cipher discovered on the map, and this is absolutely insane. It's found within the power room on top of Maxis's AI, basically, thing, um, and Sophie, basically, apparently Maxis's secretary or something like that, obviously related to Maxis, but basically, this is what the cipher is. I'm going to show you an image on screen, and we're going to read it off. Someone actually decoded it on Reddit, so I'll leave a link to the post who decoded it in the description below if you want to check that out, but anyway, guys, let's get started. It's in the power room of Garage Crove. You guys know what that is basically if you play the map. And um, yeah, here we go. This is what it is. Now he's a little bit off because it's just been discovered and we just have some information on this, but this is basically what it says. Reality or dream is becoming harder and harder to tell. He came to me again last night while I was on my nightly walk through the countryside. He told me about the location of a book called the Cranorium. Said that Richthofen needs to acquire it if we ever are going to set things right. The book contains a lo the location of a device called the Summoning Key. I will contact Richthofen in the morning. And he's not so he's not so sure about the last sentence there, but the basically the gist of the whole thing. And that's very insane because it's sort of weird. It basically says, okay, Richthofen talks about this um, book called the Cranorium and he needs it if we're ever going to set things right and obviously set things right meaning Richthofen wants to complete his goal setting things right and that's been talked about time and time again so again really back to Richthofen's goal but what's, what's interesting is that it says the book contains the location of the device called the summoning key now Richthofen already have the summoning key back in Shadows of Evil so a bunch of stuff could be occurring here. This could be back all the way from before Shadows of Evil. This could be before everything started. It could be that, you know, Garot Krovi is maybe even before all this is actually occurring. It doesn't really explain why, because why would they be talking about the summoning key, um, you know, being within this book called the Cranorium, and the location to the summoning key is actually, you know, the coordinates or whatever, are, it's, it's, in, it's in that book. That doesn't make sense, because we already have the summoning key. We had the summoning key for Shadows of Evil, and we, well, he got it from Shadows of Evil, and we had it in the Giant. We had Zerazadrak, we had Zetsumi Oshima, and I'm guessing we're probably going to have it again in Garad Krovi, at least we're assuming that. Um, but it just doesn't make sense that they're talking about here. Um, this book contains the location of a device called the Summoning Key. I will contact Richtofen in the morning. So maybe it means, now, if this is the perspective of Maxis or Sophia or whoever this is really talking about the cipher here, or really um, having the cipher or saying what these sentences, whatever it is really, um, it could be the beginning and sort of Richthofen's motives of why he's actually doing all of this. Um, so, I, I look, I have no clue, honestly. It really just doesn't really make sense. And we only have really heard about Cronorium from a couple um, months ago from this little teaser. Um, and it just doesn't really make sense. We haven't really heard anything about that before. And from the, I guess you know, from the cipher here, it's basically saying the book, the Cronorium book actually had the coordinates to the summoning key that we got all the way back in Shadows of Evil. I really need you guys to leave your theories below. Obviously, we'll have some more understanding very soon on what this is all going to mean in the future. But as of now, it's sort of, this it really seems like some sort of backstory. It either means that this is something all the way from before Shadows of Evil, or it means that straight up Garada Krovi is in either a different universe, or if it's just in an alternate time period where we're actually before, and we're playing before the events of Garad Krovi, and we're playing we're, we're playing both before the events of Shadows of Evil and before all this stuff, because again, why would they have a cipher saying this book contains the location of the summoning key, when in fact we already have the summoning key? Like I said, I could be wrong there, but it just when you look at it, it's very logical to think that that's the case, you know? It just doesn't make sense at all. And, um... In, in even the beginning to reality or dream, it's becoming harder and harder to tell. Again, they're probably crossing so many different dimensions anyway at this point. Um, so Richtofen probably in that dimension, in, either in Garada Krovi right now or before Shadows of Evil, again, wherever this cipher actually took place. And then the fact that they're, they're hunting and searching for the summoning key, again, it's really messing up the whole time period for this right now. It really is insane. So again, I will do an update video on this tomorrow, really talking about our, our like refined actual theory of what this means for the DLC, what this means for Garage Krovi, when Garage Krovi is actually taking place, maybe when this cipher was actually predicting stuff before Shadows of Evil came out, and maybe we'll get some more stuff regarding the Cronorium, which apparently has a lot of interesting information, including the coordinates to the summoning key. So, the fact that we already have the summoning key, just, I don't know, man. It makes it seem like this is a cipher from a different time dimension, different time period. It makes it also seem like potentially Garak Krovi is in a different time period as well. We'll see what happens, man. Let me know again in the comments section below what you guys think about this. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. This is the first cipher on Garak Krovi. And, um, yeah, uh, hope, yeah, uh, that's really it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.